Oh no, he's joining the dark side of heal line up. Dark side? I played, like, I think the first deck I built when uh, this expansion came out was Tempo Zeran, and it's awesome. Um, I had a blast playing that deck. Actually, it might not have been the actual first. I think I tried, Etern um, I tried Eternal Heart first, and it was terrible. <laughs> Let's just replace the expensive cards, I guess. Because uh, we're not getting in with these for a while. Ooh, lovely. Turn one Sunforge. Spot on. Yeah, Zeran, Zeran got a lot to love in this new expansion. It's very impressive. So I can do a nice thing here. I can play Sunrise Cleric and Sunforge Lancer. The Cleric dies, but A, my opponent has to walk the metal just over where I can punch it, potentially, and it can't take this mana tile. And B, um, if they don't do that, this is immune to natural selection. And of course I get to develop a healing tile... Which I guess I'll put on Zeran. Although it doesn't really make a difference. Like, maybe I want it here. Or even here. Might be where I'm going next time. Yeah, here threatens this mana tile. Uh, don't really need this yet. Ooh, lovely. Ah, balls. <laughs> deck is solid in your opinion. It, it looks it. It's a bit unconventional but there's absolutely nothing wrong with that in my book. So I guess we could trade here um, and martyrdom this. Kind of evens things up a bit. And the other option is just to be bold and to like put a Sunforge Lancer down. Um... The problem with that is my opponent can take the Monotile and then Lava Slasher again. But there's a decent chance they don't have another one. And then I can Circle of Life the Lava Slasher next turn. Getting another trigger on this. Hey. Hello. Two drops are overrated, just skip them. I mean, you're talking to someone who has been described as Keeper Vath Guy, so amen to that. <laughs> who needs two drops? There is actually a really interesting point in that. I think I'm going to do a video about this at some point. Um, two drops are something of a necessary evil in this game because they obviously get you early tempo, which is really good. And some of them do quite nice things, but most of them are really bad top decks. Even the good ones like Azurite Lion is very fragile. It's hard to set up early on. You have to like warp your board position around protecting this 2-3 just in case it maybe doesn't get killed. Um, Windblade Adept, slightly better at trading, but exactly the same thing. As a Herald, great card because it heals you, but the body is just embarrassing. Some factions are better get, better at skipping them than others. That is that is very true. Um, and there's certainly like Young Silithar is not too embarrassing later on because it's a bit. Your opponent has to pay more attention to getting rid of it than most of them. But even stuff like Phoenix Fire that does work, you know can do things that are powerful later on in the game. It's still, like, just not that, not that good. <laughs> not Phoenix Fire. Primus Fist. Phoenix Fire is great. I might have said, said the wrong thing. Like, Primus Fist, I keep putting it in decks and then cutting it. Because although, in theory, the card is quite powerful, like, the effect is pretty nice. Um, I keep getting disappointed by it. When I actually draw it. Um... Oh, wow. That's not bad. <clears throat> yeah, strawberry cards. That is interesting. Why are you running away with that? 
That's very odd. Um, I wonder if we can find the third Sunforge Lancer. Just to annoy my opponent, if nothing else. I should probably kill this, shouldn't I? I'm just going to stand here and heal. Seems like a good thing to do. Horn incoming. Yeah, that could happen. We'll take some damage, whatever. That is a player discarding a card because their hand is combo pieces, clunk, and or situational removal. Uh, which is good. Good for us. Uh, maybe they're playing Desahorn and they've got a bunch of like tech spikes and stuff. So I guess we can run up and Scintilla and then get wrecked by Warbeast and feel sad. Um, but I don't have much else to do. A parent's claim could be handy. Although it's not massively likely to be so. Double Scintilla. Double Scintilla is a bit better. Because that way one of them stays alive. Although it's horrible against Plasma Storm. I don't really have an ability to play around everything. Um... So, Mercantor, they could have. Lava Slasher, they would have played. And they've used them already. Plasma Storm, they probably would have held on to. Um, in favor of discarding the Saber Spine Tiger. Apex? Apex is a good shout. This wrecks that, though, so that's fine. Let's give it a try. One time to Plasma Storm. Yeah, most, most heal iron decks are pretty good at taking a punch and coming back. Um, the only problem is that because he's a star home, like, running out his cards is a bit clunky. Like, there's only... I mean, the game can literally go to fatigue. I'll probably lose if that happens. Because I'm going to have to... Probably going to have to keep up by drawing cards because things like Mercantor and Plasma Storm are such powerful two-for-ones. Wow, my opponent's really got nothing. Purely just combo pieces and stuff, I guess. Let's see if we can find... That's more efficient than this is. I could draw cards. Seems a bit awkward, to be honest. It's good if I hit Draining Gears, I guess. <laughs> wow, none of those do anything. He's playing very oddly. I think my opponent's hand is just like quite weak. But... Oh, he's just killing that. <clears throat> Like, they're clearly holding out for some... Wait, didn't even Seeking Eye? Oh, I guess they're on a full hand as well. <laughs> wow. Um, how can I deal myself damage by hitting him? How can I heal up? By using this. Awesome. Let's go Sun... Let's go Sunriser. How do I avoid playing into my counter War Beast? Well, he probably doesn't have it. So much removal. <laughs> Maybe they are playing like Fractal Elucidator? Play it here so that if they do find the Mercantor, uh, they at least have to back off towards the wall. So I'm blocking them in a bit more.
Have I tried all the mid mind lathe shenanigans yet? That is hilarious. No, I haven't. Um... <laughs> Stole a Grandmaster's ear and suicided your general. Wow. I've played with mind lathe like once or twice. It is a pretty good card. Uh, I think I don't know how many I actually own. Wow. <laughs> this uh, this hand though. <laughs> We're both just doing the same thing. Maybe this is greedy. They probably can't deal me 21 damage in one go. I think my hand needs more <laughs> removal. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Flash Elucidator Fractal Replication. Flash Decimus. Tech Spikes. Yep. Yeah. I am... Am I dead? <laughs> wow. 